Hi all, in this video, I am excited to walk you through a powerful automation workflow built with NA10 that utilizes FFmpeg to process video and audio files effortlessly. We will be merging, re-encoding and adding music and text as well to our video inputs. Check out the links in the description to get all the resources used to build this workflow. This is the NA10 automation workflow. It primarily focuses on fetching video and audio files and the text overlay, processing them and ultimately generating a final video with music and overlay text. We start with a manual trigger to execute the workflow followed by the actions that read data from Google Sheets, download videos and music, save them to the disk, re-encode the video and finally combine everything into a polished output. I am using NA10 local installation on Windows with FFmpeg installed on my laptop. This may not work for Docker installation or NA10 cloud version. You will need to download and install FFmpeg. Let me show you the steps for that. Type in FFmpeg GAN in Google search bar, then click the link that says gyan.dev ffmpeg builds. Once you are on the ffmpeg builds page, scroll down, click on the link that says ffmpeg git essentials.7z here. Wait for it to download the file. Once the zip file is downloaded, right click and extract the file. Once the extraction is complete, you will see a folder with this name. Rename the folder to ffmpeg. Then you can move the folder to the C drive. Now we have this ffmpeg folder under the C drive. Then click on this bin directory. Here you find the ffmpeg executable file. Now add this directory path to your path environment variable. You can just type in environment in the search box and click on this edit system environment variables. Then click on this environment variables option. Then under system variables, select the path and click on the edit button here. Then click on this new button here. Add the directory path. In my case, it is C colon ffmpeg slash bin and click ok here then click ok here to save the path now let us do a quick check to see if ffmpeg is installed properly bring up the command prompt here and then type in ffmpeg dash version hit enter here you can see the version information now we are good to go with the next steps before we start building download the na10 template i provided in the description once you are logged in to your NA10 account, click on the plus sign here and select workflow option. Then click on the three dots here and select import from file option. Navigate to the directory where you downloaded the workflow template. Select the file and open the file. You can see here the workflow has been imported. This is the Google sheet where we store the URLs for the videos, URL for the music and the text overlay that we want on the videos. Let me show you the videos that these URLs are pointing to. Video 1 is showing the waterfall. The duration is 5 seconds. Here is the video. Video 2 is the glacier express. Here is the video. The train is going through the forest. The third video is the car driving in a desert. Here is the video of the car driving through the desert. Then we have this time to travel music that we want to add to our, to our videos. Let me play that music. And here we have the text overlay to show for the duration of the each video. First video, we will show waterfall in nature and then we will display Glacier Express going through forest. And then third video will display this driving a car in a desert text. Now let us break down the workflow node by node for a complete understanding. We start with the manual trigger node. This node initiates the entire workflow when you click on this execute workflow button. There are no configurable parameters here. It's a basic entry point to start our automation. Next we have this read video sheet node. This node connects to a specific Google sheet document containing the list of video URLs that we have just seen. Click on the node to open the configuration. Here in credential to connect with, you will enter your Google credentials. If you did not already create the credential, you can refer to the link in the video description. You can follow the same process mentioned in that video to create a Google Sheet account. Resource is sheet within the document and in the operation we have get rows as we are 
fetching rows from the Google Sheet. In the document, here we have selected from list and then from this drop down box, you select the Google Sheet that has the details. You can click on this drop down box and it will get refreshed and it will show you the Google Sheets in your Google Drive. Make sure to upload the Google Sheet into your My Drive so that it shows up here. Then for the sheet, we have from list selected here and then again you can click on this drop down box then it will show you the sheets that are available in this Google Sheet. Here we have selected the video sheet. Essentially this node will give all the rows in the video Google Sheet. Next the download video node triggers a download of the video specified in the previous step. Let me open the node. Here under the method we specified get in the URL field we have specified an expression that dynamically links to the video URL obtained from the earlier node. Authentication is set to none. After downloading, the save videos node writes the downloaded video data to a specific file on the disk. Keep in mind this write files to disk node is available only with your local NA10 installation. Open the node to look at its configuration. Here in the operation field, we have write file to disk. Here we have specified the path where we want to download our videos. The name of the file is generated dynamically here with this item index variable. Here you can see the actual name of the file that will be generated. Here we are using the execute command node that runs ffmpeg to re-encode the downloaded videos. Let us open the node configuration. Click on this corner here to make it full window. ffmpeg can only concatenate videos cleanly if all of them have identical properties. You might have noticed earlier that we are going to download different videos and they may have different properties. The properties such as resolution, frame rate and codec. If we don't re-encode those videos, FFmpeg may merge them but playback glitches can occur. Here we are using the command parameter that invokes the FFmpeg to re-encode our videos. Here we are executing a series of commands. It is as if the commands are being executed in the command line mode. We are changing the directory to a specific location and then we are using this FFmpeg re-encode command syntax. Here we are dynamically picking up the input file. Here the $json dot file name will have the complete file path which may contain the forward slashes. Hence we are splitting that complete file path based on the forward slash character. Then we are extracting the last element from that array which will have the file name and discard all the file path prior to that file name. Note that we turned off the execute once setting here. When the setting is on, the command runs only one time, no matter how many items come in from the input node. When the setting is off, the command runs once per input item. If three items come in, then the command will run three times once per each item. Here we turned it off because we are receiving three video URLs from the previous node and this command has to run per each video. We are using this edit fields node to set a variable which is the file name. Let us open the node. As you can see we are setting this file list line variable to this specific value. Essentially this will contain the file name of the video file that was re-encoded and saved to video output directory. You can see the field will contain the name of the video file. This part is fixed and this is determined dynamically based on the previous node values that come here. Here we are using the execute command node. This command takes charge of generating a file list, either creating or appending to the list. Let us open this node. Click on this corner to make it full window. Here we are constructing commands that echo the file name into a video list text file. We will be getting three video file names as input for the first video file. It will generate a new file and it will add the name of the second and subsequent video files. Note that we turned off the execute once setting here for this node as well. Essentially here we are generating a text file listing all video files in the order 
so that ffmpeg can combine those files. Then we have the execute command node here to generate the video. Here we have generated a text file that contains the video file names. And here we are using the execute command to actually generate the videos. Let us open the node configuration. You can see here we are running ffmpeg to generate the video file from the multiple clips provided in the text file. Here we have specified the output folder and the video file name that needs to be generated. Here we are using the echo command to output the name of the generated video file so that it is available for the next nodes. We went through the video file processing branch. Now we have this music file processing branch. Here we have this read music Google sheet node. This operates similarly to the read video sheet node. We have covered this fields earlier. Here we are reading the music sheet instead of the video sheet. Here we have the HTTP download music node, which is set up the same way as the download video HTTP node. Let us open the node configuration under method. We have specified get under the URL. We have specified the variable that will have the music URL from the music sheet. The save music node saves the downloaded music files to our disk. Let us open this node here under operation. We have write files to disk and here is the file path and the file name. We are writing the music file to this specific directory location. We have gone through the music file branch also. Next we have read text Google sheet node. This fetches overlay text from the text worksheet. Let us open this node. You can see rest of these fields are same as the previous Google sheet nodes. The only difference here is that we are getting rows from the text sheet that has the overlay text. Here we are using the merge node that merges all the files collected so far. We can open this node to look at its configuration. Here we are saying number of inputs is three. Those inputs belong to downloaded videos, the music and the overlay texts. At this point, we have all the information that is necessary to produce the final video. Again, we are using the execute command node here to add music to the video that we generated here. Let us open the node configuration. Here we are using the ffmpeg command to add music. This variable will have the video file name and this variable will have the music file name. Then we are generating the final video with video with music mp4 name. Again, we are simply echoing the entire file name so that it is available for the next node. Finally, we are using the execute command to add text. This employs a complex ffmpeg command to overlay text dynamically taken from our Google sheet. Here you can see the ffmpeg command that adds overlay text to three different segments of the final video that we created. It constructs a series of text drawings on the video based on time frames specified. Here we are saying the first video is of 5 seconds duration. That's why we want to display the first overlay for 5 seconds. We can also specify the font color. I have specified red for the first one, white for the second one, black for the third one. And we can also specify the font size here. The video will be saved under this video with text mp4 name in this specific directory. With all nodes configured, we are ready to test our entire video processing workflow. Remember to save your workflow frequently by clicking save button here as it is not automatically saved. Click on this execute workflow button. You can see the workflow is running. It is generating the video now and here it is generating the final video with the text overlay. We got the message workflow executed successfully. Let me play the final video by clicking here. Here we see the text overlay in red color. It says waterfall in nature. We are on the second clip now about the Glacier Express train and we see the text here in white color. It says Glacier Express going through forest. Finally, this is the third clip about desert car driving and here is the text in black color that says driving a car in a desert 
everything seems to be working perfectly if you need help building automated lead generations setting up cold email machines for your marketing campaigns please reach out to me if you found this video useful please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel let me know in the comment section if there is any specific topic you want to be covered bye until next video